Today we're gonna discuss about utility, marginal utility, law of diminishing marginal utility, total utility, consumer equilibrium with respect of utility concept. What is utility? When a consumer is willing to spend money on a stock of commodity which has the capacity to satisfy his want. Satisfaction derived from consuming that commodity is utility. In economics, utility or the realized satisfaction can be measured in terms of utils. Let's study with an example. Den is thirsty. When he drinks first glass of water, he gets 10 utils of utility. When he drinks second glass, his utility only increases by 8. On third glass, 6. On fourth, 4. On fifth glass, 2. But when he drinks six glass of water, his total satisfaction remain unchanged, and after that, probably he feels sick after taking one more glass of water. In the above example, an increase in utility when Den consumes one more glass of water is the marginal utility derived from that additional glass of water. Marginal utility keeps on decreasing as he consumes more and more glass of water. This is the law of diminishing marginal utility. The law states that as a consumer consumes more and more stock of a commodity, the marginal utility for that commodity decreases. Total utility is the total amount of satisfaction derived from using a certain number of commodity. In the example, total utility when Den consumes two glass of water is 18, 10 plus 8. Total utility when Den consumes three glass of water is 24, 10 plus 8 plus 6. Total utility when Den consumes four glass of water is 28, 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. Please note, the total utility is increasing but at a decreasing rate. Now let's see how our consumer decides the equilibrium quantity of a commodity at a given price. The marginal utility curve can be drawn as a downward sloping curve. Suppose the price of water is rupees 6, which can be drawn as a straight line parallel to x-axis, showing price as constant irrespective of quantities purchased. Den will purchase three glass of water where his marginal utility is equal to the price paid for last quantity. This is the equilibrium quantity at given price of the commodity. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. If any doubts, feel free to post your comments and follow us on our Facebook page. You can also give your suggestions for more videos.